take one. <laughs> Lately I've been wearing gold chains and shit The way I'm feeling right now Buy the bitch If I cheat on you gonna be my bitch still Slam dunk What's up y'all? It's Black Trev I'm a recording artist I'm from Sydney, Ohio And y'all tuning in And you can get to know me more So make sure you watch this fucking video You little hoe It was like Bro, where it all started, I was listening. Like, I used to listen to Hell of Wayne, and I didn't want to listen to nobody else. And my uncle put me on the Gucci. And I used to think the nigga was trash at first. And then, like, I kept listening to him, and I'm like, bro, this nigga beats hard as fuck. I could not figure out how they was making beats. So at first, like, I figured out how they was making beats with FL Studio. And then once I figured that out, I started making my own beats, and then that's when I started making music. I didn't start off rapping at first, bro. It was strictly making beats. I wanted to be the man behind the sound. 2012, bro. It's 2020. That was, that was eight years ago. Yeah, that was in T Nation's bedroom. Like, boy, hurting. <laughs> back tight. My back tight now, but my shit was fucked up. Love is on sauce. Tired yet off. Uh, niggas started taking me serious in like 2016. That's when motherfuckers was like, okay, maybe, maybe this kid does have potential. Like, but I was being serious. I was so much serious back then than I am now. Like, I just be like, I feel like I be playing, but I don't be playing at the same time. Like, I be, I know I got potential to make good music, but like, I be so in my head that like, I be clouding myself out from my full potential and shit. But that's just some shit I deal with on the daily though. But I'm gonna get past that shit and then I'm gonna be making more hits, you already know. When you were first, when people first started taking you seriously, was it like a video or a song or something that you did that people- Yeah, yeah, it was a song, Brain Dead. That was the first song. That was like the, that was my first. Like that's when motherfuckers was like really, I noticed my SoundCloud start going up. I'm talking about like back in SoundCloud days, like when this shit was popping too, like, like five, six years ago when SoundCloud was popping. SoundCloud was the shit. I yeah. Had, I had all my shit saved on SoundCloud. Everybody was on SoundCloud. Now like Spotify. Free way to post music and shit. You can get streams off that shit. Motherfuckers weren't hip to getting paid from that shit yet, but like, everybody was on SoundCloud. All the singles that I'm putting out, I'm just trying to do videos, 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 videos. That's what I want to do. It's just push out the visual content. Like, I feel like that's the new era and that's the thing that's going on now that's getting people heard and saw. It's like making good music. You can be a good artist and be undiscovered. That's not like making good music. That's not the hard part. Like, motherfuckers been doing that for years, just making good music. It's just getting people to hear the good music. So I feel like a visual content is what will set me, set me apart. Motherfucker take over, bitch. Black Trap Drop. Drop. I ain't playing no games. Tapes, singles, all this. Singles, tapes, whatever the fuck I feel like. I ain't got no, I don't got nobody telling me I can't drop. So I, everything I got is coming out. I ain't holding back no more. I'm not holding none of my songs. I got like 75 unreleased songs. And this is no cap. I'll show it to vouch. 75. 75. Oh, on God. Legitimately 75 unreleased songs that ain't nobody heard of. How far does this go back? Like 2017. Damn. It's like 2017. Why didn't you drop them? I just didn't feel like that shit was like good enough. Mm -hmm. I'm my biggest critique. Any artist, bro, I swear, if you an artist, it don't matter if you draw, paint, like you gonna critique yourself worse than your peers and the people that surround you. Cause they gonna wanna see you, like people that actually believe in you, they gonna wanna see you do good and shit. So even if you making trash shit, they still gonna tell you it's good. And you gonna critique yourself worse than they would. And that's like my biggest problem. So that's like why I didn't release none of that shit. Uh, the lowest, lowest point in my life was probably recently, probably like, a month ago, I was tripping. I had, I got, I deal with badass anxiety and shit. And uh, I, uh, I was in the hospital and shit, cause like I got in my head one day, I started tripping, like crying and shit, grabbed my head like a fucking psycho, like all fucking psycho shit. But uh, 
I, I, I don't like mind talking about that shit because like if I don't, like I be trying to be vocal with like y'all so y'all can understand me more as a person. Cause like I'm a laid back person, but like I want y'all to understand me as like outside of being an artist and shit. But I deal with like bad anxiety and I get in my head. I start, I shake real bad. Start thinking of like the worst case scenarios and shit like that. But if it wasn't for like music and my kids, then I probably would have been done killed myself a long ass time ago. Like that's why I'm glad I got my oldest daughter seven years old. That's why I'm glad I had her, cause like I don't want my kids to be like, I don't want nobody have to explain to them, like, oh your dad killed yourself, or like my mom be like, oh, I found my son dead, like fuck all that. But like, that's a real situation. And if you feel like you're going through some shit like that and you need to get help, get help. Like don't sit around and wait because you getting inside of this thing right here, bro. You will hurt, you, you will harm yourself, bro. That's a, it's a powerful weapon, but you can use it to like succeed in life. You gotta stick with that shit, consistency. Like nothing, like anything that's worth having in life comes with hard work. Like yeah, I don't give a fuck what it is, it ain't. Motherfuckers ain't just going to like college one day and quitting and then they being a doctor. Like you gotta work hard for that shit, bro. And I believe in the ten year rule. So like anything you want or anything that's gonna like be successful, it's gonna take you ten years to achieve that shit. You gonna bump your head a couple times. You gonna learn some shit. You gonna be up. You gonna fall. You gonna get back up. You gonna be broke. You ain't gonna be broke. Like it's gonna take it's gonna take some time for you to achieve what the fuck you want. You ain't just finna jump into that shit. And some people are lucky enough to like be like an overnight sensation and shit. But like if you really want this shit, you gotta look past that shit and, and know in your heart, like deep down, that this is what you was made for. You know what's in here, double back so I can take your soul. We can shoot it out, stand up, go toe to toe. And I don't really give a fuck the type of shit I'm on. They took shit from out my hands. Y'all got the story wrong.